is also looking a bit more lucrative. But uh, we have the management of Sterlite Tech now with us. We have uh, Mr. Anand Angarwal, the CEO and director of Sterlite Tech, who's joining in to talk about this quarter gone by. Uh, Mr. Angarwal, hi, thank you very much for taking the time out. 551 odd crores is what you did in terms of revenue this quarter. Can you just break it up in terms of your key segments? How exactly did they perform? Yeah, it, uh, morning. Thanks for having me. We have three clear segments. We have a segment of uh, products, the second one of system integration, and third one of software. On the products, we have optical fibers and correlated products, and that's been doing really well uh, quarter on quarter as well as year on year. We are seeing a global high demand for optical fibers, uh, driven by US, driven by Europe, China, as well as uh, India. And it's being driven by the data demand. It's being driven by 5G, 4G uh, progression. So that's uh, that vertical is being doing uh, really well for us. Uh, on the system integration front, we have uh, the projects that we are doing for smart cities, as well as the projects that we are doing for uh, defense in India. So uh, that, in terms of order progression, is also uh, progressing well. We've had some short-term challenges in executing some of the projects in uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir in the quarter because of which the revenues uh, slightly dropped. But overall, we continue to be very, very bullish on the uh, on the both opportunities as well as our positioning in that. And the third vertical for us is the tele uh, the OSS BSS software, and that's been uh, doing reasonably well as well. We acquired this company a uh, year uh, from uh, now, and it's been growing at about 20, 25 percent uh, annually. Mr. Agarwal, uh, good morning, Prashant. Here. Could you tell us how revenue breaks up between these three segments? Yeah, Prashant. Uh, the revenue breakup is uh, for the quarter. It has been close to about 70% uh, has uh, is uh, uh, products. About 20% is system integration, and about 10% is software. Hmm. Is that vastly different from the full year in 16? Uh, 16, uh, our system integration business is now uh, increasing. So uh, in 16, uh, almost 90% was uh, products. So gradually where we see that the products will continue to grow, but system integration, since it's starting from a low base, it will grow faster than the products. So we think the numbers would be something around 60% uh, would be products, about 30% would be system integration, and 10% would be software. Okay, so we so see the percentage of system integration part increasing quarter on quarter. Okay, and what would your outlook on margins be for all three of the segments, even in terms of what we could see an exit growth rate by off in FY17? Uh, our uh, products business, the margins are uh, uh, about 22-23% EBITDA margin, and that's been growing, uh, essentially being driven by the operating leverage. Uh, we believe that's uh, going to continue. On the system integration part, uh, the margins are about 12-13%, uh, and uh, similarly for the software business as well. So the other two businesses, the system integration and software, will see some margin improvement as the scale and volume starts growing in. Uh, currently, we are in the investment sure. phase for both the businesses. As, as we keep moving forward, the margins would improve. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Agarwal. And uh, season's greetings from all of us here at CNBC TV 18. Appreciate you joining in with that perspective. Good luck with business ahead as well. Mr. A.K. Vijay is Executive Director with Texmaco Rail. He's also joining us.